get ready with me to go on to CBBC. I'm doing a feature for London Fashion Week on there, so I kind of want my makeup to be a little bit more natural for kids TV. So nothing too crazy, but also having my own style to it. By the way, this Underglow Primer from Iconic London is literally my new favourite thing. I basically want my skin to be as glowy as possible, so I'm basically going to give the effect of, yeah, she's not wearing any makeup, but actually she's wearing a shit ton of makeup. And it's going to shine so bright. I'm taking the Glow Drops from Jekka Black, and it's basically like an under highlight. And for some reason, my cat is obsessed with eating fake plants. Bimini, get away. I'm taking the Skin Tint from Iconic London, and because this is going to be really light on my skin, it'll just sort of give that first layer. I have definitely put way too much on my forehead. After that, I'm going in with my NARS concealer and just kind of put it in it everywhere that you put concealer. I want this to look as much like skin and as little as makeup as possible. For this, I think we're going to use a lot of cream products. So the Revolution Nikki Lila Palette is the way to go. As you can see, I have definitely got the use out of this one. I'm just going to dab that on for blush, and yes, I use the same beauty blender for literally everything. I'm not going to go too crazy with the highlighter, as as you can see, it's already kind of glowy. Um, but I'm just going to take some of the Jekka Black, the Jekka Black Glow Drops and just put that over the top. We're taking the tiniest little bit because it doesn't blend too well on top of makeup, but I use it anyways. Now that I've kind of got everything in place, I'm just going to set it with my Charlotte Tilbury palette. Yeah, and I don't want to set too much because I don't want to take away the glowy effect of it, but just under the eyes and... Bits where you might get lines, like smile lines, etc. Probably going to take the powder with me, just in case I need to touch up. Brows, I'm just going to take my 24 hour benefit brow setter. And for eyes, I'm going to take my Estee Lauder brow pencil and just draw a little wing. I'm going to be trying on a lot of different outfits, so I want my eye makeup to be quite versatile. And what best way to be versatile than a brown wing? I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply some mascara. I'm taking the Roller Lash by Benefit, as it's got that curved wand, which is perfect for this look. Lashes are done and for lips, I'm just going to take my Fenty Beauty Gloss. I don't really want anything too crazy for lips because I don't want to have to keep touching it up on TV. And we are done with the makeup. Last but not least is hair and I was debating about slicking it back but I think I'm going to try out my new GHDs and put a wave in it. Putting in some heat protecting spray because my hair is already damaged enough and I'm just going to do two nice and easy sections. The goal is to get a nice subtle wave and I think the GHDs do that beautifully. I don't know what I did to my poor old ones but look at this. I've had those GHGs since I was literally 12, so it was most definitely time for an upgrade. And we're done. The lighting has completely changed and it is currently raining.